Houthi planted landmines risks the life of many Yemenis, including women and children. This report gives more details. In observance of the International Day for Mine Awareness and Assistance in Mine Action yesterday, the Yemeni Landmine Observatory Center reported that 105 civilians had died in Yemen this year as a result of landmines and explosive ordnance. The non-governmental organization, which reports victims of mines and unexploded ordnance left over from Yemen's almost decade-long conflict, discovered that 41 civilians had been killed and 64 others injured by mine explosions in eight Yemeni regions since the beginning of this year. According to the report, the country's Red Sea port city of Hodeida has been hit the most by mine occurrence this year, with the plague also ravaging in Lahsh, Taz, Al Baida, Ma'arib, Ajov, Sada, and Haja provinces. The observatory called mine clearance a basic pillar in protecting civilians and restoring normal life, and the first condition for achieving safety and peace in the country, emphasizing that it is an urgent priority. In a statement, Redeployment Coordination Committee Chair and Head of the UN Mission to Support the Hudaydah Agreement, Michael Berry, said in any one month, we have between six and seven incidents that can have multiple injuries, life-changing injuries, and most sadly, to the most vulnerable women and children. Berry emphasized the necessity of sharing landmine safety information during the annual Mine Action Day. He assured that the UN Mission will continue to help improve the situation and eradicate the plague of landmines in Yemen. During the civil war that erupted in late 2014, after the Houthi rebels took control of the capital Sana'a, mines and explosive ordnance devastated large areas of Yemen. According to the Yemeni government, Houthis have planted over 2 million land mines since the beginning of the conflict, resulting in deaths and injuries among civilians in Yemen.